All right, we are quickly going to march ahead to our special address, which is from a brand which is extremely close to our hearts. The brand that picked up a very normal day-to-day -day slogan and has made it a movement. I'll just give you a hint. Jagore. I don't want to waste more time and I would like to invite on stage Mr. Sushant Dash, the President, India and Middle East, Tata Glo Global Beverages and let us know that how the Tata tea is keeping human at the centre. Let's have the gentleman on stage. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Pitch, for inviting me. Uh, it's always a privilege to come and interact uh, and give our story. Uh, so when, this, uh, when people ask me to speak on this topic in terms of uh, keeping human at the center, uh, I thought, you know, I've been doing marketing now for the last 20 odd years, handling this business for the last five, six years. I thought that's what you do. As a marketer, you keep, we all talk about consumer centricity. So what's, what's new? Uh, why are they asking me to speak about this and what is this new thing that we are going to talk about uh, and how does brand engagement, why is it the new center? I thought human were always the center of what brand did. I am sure that as marketers, there is not a single one of you who does not believe that you, what you do is centered around the consumer, consumer centricity is our byword. But then I stepped back and I realized that while we talk about consumer centricity, Many a times, we are caught up with our own products, our own services, our own creativity. And many of us in this whole get up, forget the fact that we are working for the consumer, the consumer needs to be at the center of it. And even those of us who remember that the consumer is at the center of it, many a time actually talk to the consumer through our product, through our services, and it is not necessarily that we celebrate the consumer. We actually celebrate our product, we say that our product solves a problem for the consumer or the human. We say that our service actually solves a need or it solves a, pro or solves a problem for the consumer, but it never talks about the consumer per se. And then I realized that actually this is something that brands are starting to do anew. It's not something that it's necessarily been done or being done on a regular basis. And when I stepped back, I realized that maybe not through a well thought out strategy, but maybe by chance or maybe because of the situation at that point of time, Jagore is one of those campaigns where we actually do not sell the product and actually celebrate the human, the individual and talk through, uh, talk to them uh, and talk about them. So I thought it was a good idea to go through the Jagore story and figure out as to how we have actually kept, kept human at the center of brand engagement and how it has worked for us. So why human at the center and how do you increase brand engagement? The reason at that point of time that we did not sell Tata Tea as a product and all tea companies including us at that time sold tea as a product which talked about aroma, strength, color, uh, garden freshness. If any of you remember the ads 10, 15 years back, in 9 out of 10 cases, you would find someone dancing in the garden, coming home, cup of tea, drinking and suddenly becoming very active. Uh, broadly, that was the pattern. You could change the actor, the actress, but broadly that was the action in terms of. But we realized that the consumer was changing. And it becomes more important, the human, for a mass brand. Because in a mass brand, there is not much of innovation, there is not much of technology. So in terms of differentiation, there is only that much that you can, you can only say I am stronger by 2x, I am more flavorful, uh, my pack is now from red become dark red, but beyond a point it becomes difficult to differentiate and ask the consumer to pay a premium or ask the consumer to shift from the brand that they currently using. So the only way for a mass brand is to create empathy, brand love, affinity and not work just at a transactional equation point but work at an emotional equation if you want to get the consumer. And I think it helped that consume, as I said, there was a paradigm shift in culture and society in terms of the consumers. And what do I mean by authenticity? What I mean by authenticity is 
that we realized, as I said, for the mass brands at least, people realize that between one brand and the other, between branded or non-branded, between store brands, between local brands, the difference at a product level was not as much. And hence, if you ex expect the consumer to pay you a premium, it becomes more and more difficult. Or to differentiate becomes more and more difficult. But what we also realized, and I think a lot of brands post have realized, is that if you are, consumers do want to have brands with which they empathize, which they believe is genuine, which goes with their thought process of what they believe in, irrespective of what the product per se stands for. And that is what I meant by authenticity, things that they can relate to at a more emotional level or at a more impactful level. And if you can do that, you will realize that the engagement that the brand has with the consumer and hence the premium or the business that the consumer is willing to give you is much higher. And that's at the end of the day what all of us are there for to grow our businesses. So what did we do? I mentioned the conventional approach would have been to sell tea brands and it's not that we didn't do that, we did that for 20 odd years. But what we said was for the Jagore campaign, we changed our approach and we actually started putting human at the center. And I'll show you examples as to what we did. And one of the things that worked and I think it's important that while you put human at the center, there needs to be a believability in terms of what the brand talks to when you put the human at the center. And I think that becomes a very critical and important point. So, you know, I cannot promise as a brand or I cannot talk to the consumer as a brand if I do not have some authenticity or if I don't, if I don't stay within the realms of what I as a brand can do. So, in this case, one of the things that we realized is in general tea is seen as something that provides energy. In the morning you get up tea, you get up and you drink tea because it invigorates. So, it gives you mental and physical rejuvenation. So, what we started talking about is actually more the mental aspects of it saying that while other teas just rejuvenate you physically and mentally, here is a tea brand that awakens you and awakens you for a so to a social cause. And that is where we brought human to the center of it. So, while the rest of the tea category continue to talk product, continue to talk about the benefits or in terms of wake up mental and physical rejuvenation, we as a brand moved away and started talking about awakening. The other important part of when you start looking at human at the center and when you're not talking product or you're not talking service or you're not talking technology is very important to have the insight which is based on the human, which is based on the consumer, which is based on what is happening in the society at that point of time. If you don't get that right, then the brand engagement does not go up. One of the things that we realized and as many of you have realized is one of the longest running campaigns in the country. We have been running this campaign now for 12 years. We started in 2007 and I think I have the first ad which I will play in a while. Uh, at that point of time, we realized that and that was a time when social media, digital was just coming into the picture. It was just growing at the rate that we are seeing. People were becoming more and more active. And one of the things that we realized was the youth did want to make a change. They were not saying, they were no more saying that I seek change. They were no more willing to just pass on the blame to others or externalize. But they were willing to say that I am willing to make a change. I am willing to do things. And that was the insight on which the awakening story was based on, the Jagore story was based on. The other thing that you need to remember and this is what we did in Jagore is if you want the human at the center and you want to increase the brand engagement score, it is not just, it is not just enough to communicate change or as a brand say what consumers need to do or what the people need to do. It is also important as a brand to walk the talk, to be genuine, to actually facilitate and inspire that change. It is not about standing on a pedestal and looking down and saying, you need to do that. You actually need to create that awakening, but you also need to walk along with the consumer, the distance and facilitate. That's the only way 
that you will engage the consumer. That's the only way the consumer will believe in what you're saying and have empathy for you and be willing to pay the premium. So how did this approach come alive? You know, it's very good to talk about all of this in theory, but at the end of the day, it's all about how you execute. So what did we do and how did we go about it? One of the things that we were clear about right at the beginning, and that is one of the reasons as to why I think we did a good job of keeping the human at the center, was we did not look at it just at a macro level. While the issues that we picked up were societal issues which were at a macro level, we actually talked about it from an individual level as a one-to-one -one human in terms of asking for reflection at that level, accountability at that level, and the fact that you as an individual could drive change. And we actually facilitated that change in terms of how you as an individual could do that. And that to me was actually the success and continues to remain the success of uh, how Jaguar has moved ahead. Can we play the first commercial please? चलिए छोड़िए अपना वर्क एक्सपीरियंस बताइए पच्चीस साल से है इस लाइन में सर सर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस मतलब कंस्ट्रक्शन वॉटर वर्क इंजीनियरिंग हमारा इंटरव्यू ले रहे हो क्या सर इतनी बड़ी जॉब के लिए अप्लाई किया कौन सा जॉब कौन सा जॉब देश को चलाने का जॉब सर खैर चलिए हर सुबह सिर्फ उठो मत टाटा टी सो दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट कमर्शियल दैट वी एक्चुअली रैन इन द जागोरे सीरीज विच वॉज बैक इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन एज अड बीन अ लॉन्ग जर्नी बट वेन वी प्ले दिन वी डेड दिस कमर्शियल ऑब्वियसली Uh, at that time, I used to head marketing, and it was not a very easy task to convince my then uh, CEO and president to go ahead and actually put money behind this ad. Because as you'd have realized, till the 30th second, there is no, uh, there is not a single mention of tea, nor is there any product story, nor does it show of a pack. And before that, it used to be, you know, if you were a marketer and you didn't show your product shot in the first 10 to 15 seconds, uh, you didn't get the money as a marketer. Uh, it, it was a waste of money as far as everyone else in the company was concerned. Um, the second was obviously the fact uh, as to whether as a Tata Group company, were we pushing the envelope too much? Uh, was this the right thing to do? So obviously there were questions on, uh, on that front. Uh, but what we also realized is that we could not actually leave uh, the campaign at this stage. While this was great, it created that initial euphoria but does it create engagement if you leave it at that level? The answer is no. And that's what we realized as we moved forward, that you need to then walk the talk. You as a brand, it's great to say that, okay, wake up, awaken, go out, question the politician. How do I do that? What do I do next? How do I take accountability? Can I play the second act? अरे बॉस आप सो क्यों रहे हेलो मैम हेलो आप सो क्यों रहे आप चाय पीजिए हां चाय चाय पी के तो जग जाएंगे बस आपका प्रॉब्लम क्या है व्हाट्स द प्रॉब्लम हां अरे ये भी सो रहे हैं आप सो रहे हैं सर आप सो रहे हैं अभी चाय पिलाओ प्लीज चाय चाय क्या चाय चाय लगा रखा है चाय चाय अरे ये भी सो रहे हैं ये भी सो रहे हैं आज छुट्टी का दिन है हम लोग पिक्चर देखने आए हैं सबको चाय पिलाओ वेक अप टाइम वेक अप टाइम आई एम नॉट स्लीपिंग ओके इलेक्शन के दिन अगर आप वोट नहीं कर रहे हो तो आप सो रहे हो चाय मैम जागोरी डॉट कॉम पे जाइए वोटिंग के लिए रजिस्टर कीजिए अगर आप सोएंगे तो ये देश कैसे जागेगा टाटा टी सो दस वेन वी स्टार्टेड मूविंग एड एंड वी सेट दैट वी नीड टू एक्चुअली डू टू थिंग्स वन वी नीड टू हैव अ कॉल टू एक्शन सो वेन एवर एंड आई शो यू अ कपल मोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेन एवर वी पिकअप अ टॉपिक वाल द टॉपिक इज रेलिवेंट एंड वी क्रिएट अवेयरनेस अबाउट द टॉपिक but we don't stop there if you want to have brand engagement if you want to relate to the consumer on a one on one on one basis if you want to treat them as human then you need to have a facilitation exercise and you as a brand need to show your intention that you are genuine about it so what did we do about it what did we do about voting 
we realized that while there is apathy, there is inertia in terms of voting, there is also an issue. And the issue is mainly with a lot of youngsters because people move cities in search of jobs, people move cities in terms of education and when they want to register and when they want to vote, the registration process is actually a very cumbersome process. You know, you need I card, you need proof of residence, many a times you don't know how to go about what forms, where to get the forms. So one of the things that we did as a brand is actually help in the voting registration process. So there was a clear call to action in terms of how we as a brand could facilitate in the voting process. We actually tied up with the uh, election commission, we tied up with an NGO called as Janagraha which is into uh, urban development and works on public policies. We actually spent a lot of time, effort and money as a brand to actually help the youth register and we also did the same on the digital medium in terms of tying up with Map My India to actually help people to go to the nearest office, for example, the route to the nearest office, details of the nearest office. For the first time, I actually put the map, uh, uh, put the registration form online, simplify the process. That actually gave us a lot of engagement. Uh, so we did a full campaign, as I said. Uh, we went to campuses, we went to the large IT campuses and we followed up. It was not just we went once and did uh, a, a camp and in none of them we were selling tea in that sense. Uh, we, we actually were genuine in terms of what we were trying to do and believed in the cause. I think that is the other critical element if you want to engage. Uh, these were some of the examples in terms of the posters that we set out to do. Uh, we actually got 6 lakh people register and vote in terms of first time voters and that in terms of the word of mouth, in terms of engagement, in terms of the database that you create is huge. Uh, and, and subsequently for each and every one of the campaigns that we have done, that is the general format that we have followed. We create awareness about a cause, we then take up the issue and ensure that the brand facilitates the consumer actually taking accountability and doing something about it and actually being genuine about it. I think those are the three important and critical elements in terms of going forward. The next campaign that we did and I want to quickly touch upon and show you how we did that was the power of 49 which was the next election. So um, if I remember my dates right, the youth voting was 2009 elections and 2013 was the power, 2012 was the power of 49 campaign which was the next general elections. Uh, the insight again was very simple, we realized that uh, women are 49 percent of the electorate, but in this country, in many parts of the country and in many segments, women do not independently vote. They vote as per the family. So the family votes for X candidate or X party, the women also votes for the same candidate. The women actually does not have a voice of her own. So the point that we made was that if women want to talk about issues that are important for them, women want to have a voice of their own then they need to stand up and speak. Uh, so I have covered all of this. So they need to be, uh, so we ran a full campaign in terms of collecting, uh, crowdsourcing a manifesto and allowed women to actually call and speak and create awareness about the fact that they do not need to vote as per the family and they have their own issues which they need to talk about and vote for candidates who would actually help solve those issues. Uh, I will again, on, because there is less time, not go through the full process in terms of uh, what we did in terms of empowering and in terms of how we went about uh, doing it, but what we did uh, in terms of the result was we actually got women from nearly 504 out of the 543 constituency either through digital media or through uh, free call that we actually had call and talk about issues that actually affected them. We got 8 lakh unique calls, the total calls that we got was around 28 lakhs uh, in total and there were 8 lakh unique calls in terms of issues uh, which made it one of the largest repository in terms of women's issues which covered the length and breadth of the country. 
Uh, and in a sense, it was the first ever crowdsourced manifesto, which we then as a brand facilitated and presented to various uh, large parties and got them to incorporate into their agenda and manifesto. As we moved, as I said, uh, and I'm not taking you through the full journey, but these were two of the campaigns that I just wanted to highlight. We actually have done by this time, by 2015, we had done six or seven different issues in terms of what we were talking about, starting from voting to uh, women, em women empowerment to uh, corruption. But we also realized that how things were in 2007 and how things were in 2018 had changed quite drastically. One obviously was the advent of social media and digital and people were much more active. So while there was, as I say, a culture of apathy and people turning a blind eye to many of the social causes in 2007, in 2017, 2018, people were actually activists, at least on social media. People talked about candle marches, people talked about raising issues, people talked about, people rave and rant all the time about every possible issue. But what we also realized is while we have a lot of angst and we take up a lot of issues, we usually do that after something bad has happened. So we talk about India not winning medals after the Olympics is done and we don't win any medals. Or we talk about women's safety after a rape has happened, okay? We don't pre-act. So while activism is not bad and activism is actually good, but if we actually want to make an impact and if we want to have an accountability, then we need to raise our voice and do things pre. So we actually changed in terms of the engagement with the consumer from activism to what we call pre-activism in terms of the next phase. And I will quickly play the ad. I know I'm running out of time, but it lasts a couple of minutes. Can we play the ad? No, no, not, the, uh, not this one, the next one. Uh, not this one. Alarm abhi baja nahi, kisan abhi mara nahi, khiladi abhi hara nahi, aur abhi yaha rape hua nahi, kisan ko aap mahatya karne do, adal harne do, aur rape hune to do, alarm thoda bajne to do. Alarm baje, kaho mukhenge, fir har taal ka jara hai. अलाम बजा नहीं। अगला अलाम बजने से पहले। जागो, जागो, जागो। टाटा टी। So we moved the concept, and that's the other thing. If you want to keep human at the center, one of the things you need to do is you need to keep evolving, because humans evolve. It's the same as your product brands. When you're talking of a product you cannot say the same thing again and again because people will get bored, the differentiator will go away. So even when it's talking about the human and the brand is talking about the consumer and not your product or service, you need to keep in mind what is happening and the insight and the trends and be sure that you're taking into account the changes that are happening in society and move along in terms of how you evolve your communication and the brand story. Uh, I will not take you through those videos, but what we did as, as, as I've explained earlier, the idea is not just about creating awareness and leaving it at that, the brand needs to then walk the talk and facilitate what the end consumer uh, does. So in this case, what we did was we actually created a whole repository of information in terms of how person can pre-act. What does pre-activism mean and what are the small things an individual on a daily basis can do 
uh, to actually move the needle in terms of pre-activism and help society. That was phase two and we used influencers and we used social media to do that. We then actually went and checked with the consumer as to what are the couple of big issues that the brand could pre-act on and help move the needle on. And the two things that came across very clearly was one in terms of gender sensitization because one of the things that all consumers spoke about is that women's safety and this is something that even experts believed in when we talked to a lot of experts around that women's safety is not something that you can teach or do overnight. It needs to be a generational shift and a lot of it needs to happen at a young age and if we do that in our schools, if we do that with parents when the kids are young in terms of gender sensitization, that's one of the ways that we can actually in, empower women and ensure women's safety going forward. So that was one of the topics that we took forward as a brand and the other was in terms of making sports uh, more a cultural thing rather than uh, something that we talk about just from a you know when, when India doesn't win or India doesn't do very well. Again sports is something that needs to be part of a culture. All of us in this room are well aware that when we grew up or even now when kids go to school and come back all of us ask them as to how much did they score in maths or English or science but I am sure that very few of us actually ask as to what is their high jump, what distance what height or what is the time that they take for their 100 meters or what do they do in terms of the long jump. I am sure none of us discuss that. So in terms of a culture that is not something that is imbibed and something that the school also does not take into consideration very seriously. Most schools out of the 40 periods that they have, have two games period in the whole week. Uh, so so that is actually where we stand in terms of the sports culture. So these were two of the things that we as a brand picked up in terms of pre-activism saying that we need to make a difference at the school level. Uh, we A actually carried out a petition and uh, on both of them which we got parents to sign. Uh, I will not go through the details in terms of what we did but these were the numbers we got more than 10 lakh uh, people to sign the gender sensitization being made a compulsory subject in the school curriculum uh, and we got uh, a petition where 7 lakh 35 thousand people signed saying that we should make uh, sports a compulsory subject in school. The good thing is we presented this to uh, the HRD ministry and many of you would have seen that uh, at least in CBSC schools they have actually agreed to make sports a compulsory subject going forward. Uh, gender sensitization is already incorporated into the school curriculums again in many of the CBSC boards. So I think we are moving the needle in, in both the cases long way to go. But I think that is how in terms of engagement, in terms of getting the consumer uh, on your side and talking about empathy and love and affinity for the brand and something that they are proud of, you can build without necessarily talking or keeping the product or your service or technology in terms of uh, at the center of what you do. Uh, last slide uh, in terms of some of the do's and don'ts, I think uh, I have talked through that. Uh, it is not about the brand talking down. I think that is important. Uh, it is not about the brand taking a holier than thou uh, stance. It is about the brand creating awareness. It is about the brand facilitating. It is about the brand itself walking the distance so that the consumer, the human reali realizes that it is not you versus me but it is us together. I think that is the secret in terms of creating good brand engagement by keeping humans at the center of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing the various awakening and impactful campaigns and could I please request you to be on stage as we would like to present your token of gratitude. And I would like to invite Mr. Sabhyasachi Mitter, the Managing Director from Fulcro World to please present the token of gratitude to Mr. Sushant Dash. Little louder, please come on. Let's have some energy in the room, friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, gentlemen. 